Okay, our, our next speaker today is Susanna Torracini from University di Torino, Italy. Please, Susanna. Uh, good morning, uh, uh, everyone. Uh, I'm very happy to be here to have the opportunity of celebrating uh, uh, Olga Ladizenskaya in her uh, centennial conference. And what I'm going to share with you today are um, uh, results related to higher order boundary Harnack principle on nodal domains via degenerate e equations. And uh, uh, all I am going to, to, to uh, tell are contained in joint works with uh, Yannick Sire, Giorgio Tortone, and Stefano Vita. Um, okay. Uh, here are the papers uh, who, that uh, contain our, our results. Uh, one is a, is a preprint and two are already published. Uh, okay, so uh, what are, will be our equation? Uh, we consider a regular uh, hypersurface gamma embedded in our n, when, uh, at least n is uh, at least two, when, with a weight rho vanishing on gamma with a non-zero gradient. Our goal is uh, to obtain higher order local Schauder estimate up to the boundary for, soli for, for solution to the singular uh, degenerate elliptic equation of uh, the type and diverg divergence uh, form uh, minus divergence of rho to the A uh, uh, ma matrix A times gra gradient of W of U equals some right hand side. The matrix A will be uh, variable coefficients and F, uh, small f and the, the vector field uh, capital F will be uh, given uh, in certain uh, function classes. And the omega is a bounded domain. The exponent A is uh, at least uh, minus one, exceeds minus one, so that uh, the, um, the weight rho is uh, locally integrable. Now uh, we will consider actually two cases. Uh, in the first, uh, the hypersurface uh, is uh, contained in the boundary of the open set omega, or it is in, contained in its interior. In the first case, we shall use the notation omega plus to emphasize the fact that uh, the, the open, the domain of the functions lie only on one side of, uh, the, uh, um, of the, the, the surface gamma. And while, uh, when, when we will be in the interior of omega, please uh, think of a modulus of rho um, uh, be present uh, in uh, uh, around uh, the, the weight row that should change sign if sufficiently smooth, uh, and then we will always take its uh, absolute value. Uh, please uh, take uh, a note of the presence of this exponent that will be one of our, uh, let's say, parameters. Uh, uh, what are... uh, uh, Susanna, uh, um, may I think that rho is simply the distance, uh, sign distance uh, to the to gamma? Correct. For example, this is this is in fact one one pos pos possibility. It will not be the only one, but uh, the 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 best thing is to think that rho is, is uh, the 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 distance uh, to 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 gamma, the sign distance to gamma, and then you consider its modulus. And with a, a power A that can be either positive or, uh, or negative, but in any case, larger, strictly larger than minus one, in a way that this, uh, this uh, weight is uh, locally integrable. Okay? Thank you. Yes, thank you. Uh, okay, what are solutions? Solutions are, have always to be intended in the energy sense. Uh, we consider the weighted Sobolev space where rho to the A is the weight. And uh, we consider, so a solution is a function W that, uh, um, that uh, uh, satisfies the, this identity for all test function in the very same uh, space, uh, Sobolev space. 
so that uh, uh, solutions are in fact uh, critical points of the, the functional. Please remember to have a modulus around rho when in, in, in the case when, uh, when gamma is uh, in the interior of omega. And uh, uh, then uh, 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 critical points uh, are um, well uh, defined, provided that uh, the right hand side satisfy a uh, suitable assumption that I will be um, uh, more specific in a moment. Uh, the uh, energy, the, the energy space, the elements of the energy space may have or not a trace on, on gamma, depending on the value of the exponent A. Okay, when A is between minus one and one, uh, and we will see in a moment that this is the case of mucking out uh, weights, uh, then uh, function do have a trace. Otherwise, in the super degenerate case, when A is larger or equal than one, then the space of uh, uh, solution of, of uh, um, sorry, here there is a mistake, of uh, C infinity function, which uh, have support in omega minus gamma, Sorry, here there is a minus gamma is dense in the function in the, in the in the function space in the subolex space, so that the traces on gamma are meaningless. Uh, formally, in if the the the, the limit exists, uh, we are the the conormal derivative at at gamma of the function should be zero. Okay. So we are because uh, we are uh, considering natural boundary conditions. Um, the uh, okay, uh, we note that in fact when gamma e lies inside in the interior of omega, in the super degenerate case, the energy con solution can very well be discontinuous at gamma. Can have jumps. Okay, this is somehow related to the uh, inconsistency of uh, uh, theory of traces uh, in the in the super degenerate case. Okay, there are uh, this uh, this equation uh, arises in various contexts. Uh, of course, the first one are the fra fractional powers of elliptic operators. And just to quote some names, uh, Caffarelli, Sinvestre, Chang, Gonzalez, the analysis of edge operators. Uh, uh, for example, given by Matteo, Graham, Swarovski, and, and so, and uh, also appear, and this will be somehow uh, uh, an important uh, observation, when uh, one wants to study the ratio W of uh, two solutions of elliptic equation, even non-homogeneous elliptic equ equations, that uh, uh, vanish on uh, the same portion of the boundary of the open set. And this is uh, rather easy to see that uh, the ratio satisfy in fact uh, an equation with a weight uh, u square, which is, uh, uh, as, you, as you see, with, a, with an exponent two, which is uh, of course larger than one. So in, uh, um, the, 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 the ratio satisfy an, uh, uh, an equation with a super degenerate weight and in the presence of uh, uh, non-homogeneous terms G and F also with some right, right hand side. Okay, so there are uh, various reasons uh, of interest on this class of, of uh, equation. And uh, uh, when uh, in, the, in this latter case of these ratios, uh, in fact, uh, the uh, uh, one, in the literature, uh, the Schauder regularity of the ratio is re referred as higher order boundary Harnack principle, and his has been uh, uh, widely studied with different approach, which actually totally neglects the link, the link with the degenerate equation. Uh, both in the elliptic case, by, for example, by De Silva and Savin, uh, in the parabolic case uh, by Bangiri and Garofalo, this is in the unforced case, and by Kukulian very recently in the forced parabolic case in a non-divergence form. 
And there is also an, another link uh, to the uh, literature, uh, which is uh, the following. Uh, when uh, A is analytic, and uh, you ta we take uh, uh, two uh, functions, they actually refer, um, consider the uh, uh, harmonic functions, but this can be easily extended to uh, uh, solutions to, to uh, general divergence uh, uh, equations in the analytic case. Uh, so now you consider two uh, solutions in an open set U and V, which are harmonic, and uh, the zero set of V includes that of U. So whenever U vanishes, also V vanishes. Uh, then, then in this remarkable papers, uh, uh, Logunov and Nikova prove that the, the ratio V over U is uh, analytic. Um, uh, more recently, Lin and Lind uh, obtained uh, elder regularity in the case of uh, Lipschitz A. So one point of the present research is to try to extend in some way Logunov and Mandelinikova result to cases where the metric, the metric A is not analytic, but it is only CK for some K. Uh, now, Let's go to the very simple, simplest case, uh, which is the case when gamma is an hyperplane. And uh, uh, in this case, uh, we have a divergence. And uh, as, uh, as uh, uh, said before, the weight law is uh, the sign distance to the hyperplane. So it's, it is the variable y, let's call it y, and x is the, uh, the uh, orthogonal variable. Um, so we have an operator that we will call LA, uh, which is the divergence of uh, modulus of y to the a times this matrix uh, a that may depend on x and y uh, applied to the gradient of u. And now the matrix a will be symmetric, continuous uh, in the case of uh, of uh, uh, the uh, when when uh, we will consider all the 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 spaces will be con will be even in y and uh, uniformly elliptic. Okay, and uh, uh, in at the first uh, in a first uh, paper we consider the case where uh, when a uh, when sigma, the characteristic manifold, which is in fact the characteristic space, is in fact uh, uh, invariant under A. And then after we understood that this was uh, in fact not uh, necessary, so this compatibility condition was not necessary, and so we dropped uh, this uh, assumption. Okay, now let's go back to the very classical theory of elliptic operators, and let me just remind the, 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 the milestone of, of the regularity in this case. So the first is uh, uh, the, the George Nash Moser uh, theorem, uh, when uh, A uh, is uh, uh, infinity uh, is, a, is, symmetric, is a symmetric matrix with measurable coefficients uh, with a uniformly elliptic uh, uh, condition, and uh, um, uh, if uh, U is a weak solution to the uh, equation uh, to associate uh, the associate uh, uh, equation, homogeneous equation, then solutions are elder continuous. Uh, note that when A is continuous, uh, we can then take uh, uh, the alpha, which is uh, the exponent of uh, older continuity, uh, be arbitrarily within the, uh, the interval zero one. Otherwise, uh, there is uh, an alpha that depends uh, on uh, uh, the parameters of, uh, of the, of the uh, uh, problem, which is uh, usually not even very well known, uh, the, the optimal one, uh, 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 with the exception of the planar case. And uh, when we consider the, uh, the same uh, problem 
with uh, a right hand side, then under uh, conditions uh, that uh, uh, in, uh, in, in test the integrability of the right hand side in different uh, way, uh, uh, again gives uh, the uh, uh, integrability, the, the, the alterianity of the solution. Okay, when A is continuous, uh, then this uh, uh, alpha, the alpha in, the, in this, uh, uh, of the elder space, uh, uh, does not depend uh, on the dimension. Okay, uh, okay, so now uh, what, I, what I mean with the Schauder estimate, okay, these are of course very well known. Uh, what are the, the, the uh, uh, extra assumption needed to go one step further of, of uh, differentiability in the theory. In the theory, first, uh, we take uh, the, mat the matrix A to be elder continuous. And also we take the right-hand side to be um, elder continuous for what concern the vector field F for of which we consider the divergence and uh, LP with P larger than uh, uh, the, 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 the dimension over one minus alpha, and then we have C one alpha estimates. Um, okay, this is uh, the, the, the class, the uh, shorter uh, uh, estimates. Uh, uh, there are um, different ways uh, to, 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 to obtain them. them. There is a, a, a way which is uh, goes more or less by scaling and uh, uh, one uh, uh, can argue by, by contradiction. And then uh, after a blow up argument uh, ends uh, with uh, an entire harmonic function, which is, uh, um, uh, has a, a growth at infinity, which is uh, 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 strictly less than two. And then one can classify harmonic uh, function, entire harmonic function having an algebraic growth and say that uh, they are all, uh, in fact, all polynomials. And uh, so the uh, fact that uh, the growth rate at infinity are quantized, so they can be only integer, in fact, can be considered as, uh, let's say, one of the, of the key steps for uh, uh, obtaining Schauder estimated. Uh, this is a, a paper of, of the 90s by Simon, uh, which is called uh, uh, Schauder estimate by scaling. And I think uh, we will somehow, uh, we will be inspired by this, uh, by this vision. Okay, uh, so let's go back by our, uh, to our class of elliptic operators that, uh, as I said, may be degenerate uh, or singular in the sense that all eigenvalues may vanish or become infinite. And uh, in fact, uh, the, 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 uh, uh, this fact affects the regularity of solutions. Um, and uh, um, in fact, we do have uh, solutions which are not uh, infinity, which are not regu uh, regular and which regularity may in, are in fact uh, uh, affected by the value of the exponent a. Uh, but uh, you see, when you look closer at the solution, you understand that this is not the class of solutions that we are considering because uh, they do not meet uh, the boundary condition, the, the natural boundary condition at, at gamma. Okay, so let me um, make a very, very uh, brief excursion in the, uh, world of Mukenau weights, uh, which is uh, in fact the frame where the um, singular degenerate uh, operators have been studied in the, in the, uh, in the literature uh, by uh, starting from a seminal paper by Fabes, Kenig, and Serapioni. This is uh, the uh, definition of uh, the AP uh, class of weight, uh, and in fact, our weight uh, belongs to this to this class uh, only when a is between minus one and p minus one. The basic, uh, uh, the fundamental class is a two, and this uh, entails a between minus one and one. In this case, there are Sobolev weighted Sobolev embeddings and Poincaré inequality. 
and uh, this property and take the validity of maximum principle, unique continuation, Harnack inequality, and then eventually the elder co continuity of all solution. But uh, as I said, uh, we will deal with some boundary conditions. And uh, uh, in that case, we do have, uh, uh, we, 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 uh, we, we, with the, uh, we, Sorry, uh, also in the super degenerate case, so we will exit the class of MOOC and uh, not weights. Uh, in that case, let me remark that the jump function is an energy solution, L, is an uh, LA harmonic function. Okay, but as I said, does not meet the, uh, is not even, so does not meet the uh, boundary condition. But uh, this continuous solution may be there at any time. Now, uh, how do we uh, face uh, the regularity problem to obtain C1 uh, or CK uh, uh, estimates? We regularize the, the, the weight in a very uh, simple way. Now, we, we, we can think that uh, epsilon is less than one. So uh, we replace uh, y to the uh, modulus of y to the uh, power a with uh, this uh, uh, analytic function. And then uh, we solve the associated uh, 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 problem in the, the, let's say, in the upper uh, uh, half ball. And uh, we derive uh, solutions, uh, we, uh, we derive uh, estimates uh, in Elder and, and, uh, uh, um, and uh, uh, C1 alpha spaces, uh, uh, which are uniform with respect to the parameter epsilon. Okay, when we have this uh, uniformity, we will call the estimate epsilon state. Okay, uh, now uh, the, the the analysis here has, uh, uh, let's say, various uh, point of, of, let's say, uh, interest. Uh, it uh, has different feature uh, when A is uh, positive or negative or even zero. And especially the point is the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, um, uh, the uh, weighted Sobolev space has have different uh, features but are re reasonable. In fact, uh, uh, the uh, uh, part of the theory that uh, relies on the property of, uh, Sobolev, of uh, weighted Sobolev space is somehow how standard. Uh, according to the, the, the works of Hywash, uh, we have uh, estimates of the growth of the uh, volume of the balls, uh, which is the independent of epsilon. And with this, uh, we, in fact, uh, we can rely on uh, uh, the the, uh, uh, the on the theorem of uh, of uh, weighted Sobolev space. Uh, there is only uh, one one thing to be uh, taken care of, which is uh, that uh, the uh, dimension, which is n now n plus one, because n is uh, the dimension of the variable x, uh, one is that of the variable one, and then there is exponent a that also plays a role in the dimension when a when is uh, when is uh, is positive, and so we have uh, embeddings, okay. And this, uh, the presence of these embeddings give us uh, natural conditions on the right hand side f, uh, small f and capital F uh, to be in a, a reason to, to belong in reasonable space uh, to uh, give to the right hand side uh, the property of being in the dual of uh, the the uh, weighted Sobolev space. In this case, we can, uh, for example, use uh, 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 existence theorem by uh, sim simply by Ries uh, theorem. Okay, now let's go to the to the uh, our our uh, theorems. Our first result. Uh, okay, uh, our first result concerned uh, C one alpha estimates um, under reasonable assumption of. Uh, uh, small f and capital F, which are exactly the uh, uh, usual one uh, when the uh, uh, dimension is uh, 
increased, increased uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, the, the positive part of A. So uh, in this case, we have uh, uh, C1 alpha estimate when F is LP and uh, capital F is in C0 alpha. And this estimate, the C1 alpha estimate is epsilon stable. So it can be in fact uh, brought to the limit when epsilon go to zero uh, uh, for the uh, class of regularized uh, equations. And, uh, in this case, we can bring to the limit also the, uh, the uh, boundary condition from the uh, strongly elliptic appro approximating problem to the limiting one. And so we obtain that uh, on the, the boundary sigma of uh, of our uh, on, the, on our hyperplane, uh, uh, the conormal de derivative of uh, u is uh, in fact equal to the uh, uh, minus and nth component of the vector field f. Exactly what would happen in the case of uh, uh, when a is the identity and no. Uh, weight is here. So you see that uh, we have passed from the um, weak sense of the uh, natural Neumann condition on the characteristic hyperplane to the strong one. Before we had the, 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 the limit and here the power rho to the power a, so y or model, uh, y to the power a, so when A was negative, this would in fact imply this, but here we have a stronger uh, result. Okay, uh, so next uh, we, the next, uh, next we can uh, uh, increase the order of differentiability of U when uh, in fact, uh, um, sorry, when, uh, when uh, the matrix A and uh, the uh, the matrix A and the the, the forcing uh, uh, small f and capital F are in the appropriate uh, uh, classes uh, uh, C K alpha, um, and then we have that uh, so energy solutions in fact uh, uh, satisfy the uh, usual. Uh, usual uh, uh, higher order Schauder estimate. Okay, this is uh, maybe so considered somehow surprising because uh, uh, the, regu the uh, uh, regularity of the weight is uh, lower when A is not an integer than that of the solutions. Okay, uh, and this, uh, uh, so the, uh, and, and the, the, but, but the fact is that uh, the uh, gain of regularity uh, with respect to the regularity of, of coefficient uh, has to be attributed to the joint regularizing effect of the equation and the natural Neumann boundary condition, even when, uh, uh, um, when um, uh, considered in a, in a weak sense, uh, yeah, because and also uh, 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 an important fact that will be of interest in, in a moment is uh, uh, what happens uh, when uh, uh, in the right hand side we, we have a singular forcing. You, in what sense uh, we have a singular forcing? You see here everything is multiplied by the weight y to the a, but now on the right hand side we put y to the a minus one. So if you like, uh, the forcing F is divided by Y. Uh, well, in this case, uh, uh, we still have uh, the uh, desired Schauder estimate uh, up to the characteristic hyperplane. Uh, and uh, when provided A, the uh, coefficient A is positive, uh, you see that otherwise uh, the right-hand side would not even be uh, integrable and so, the, uh, the uh, locally integrable, so the, the equation does not make sense. So we take A positive, and in this case, we find that, that the solutions, 
energy solutions uh, do satisfy, in fact, uh, this uh, uh, boundary condition, this true boundary condition. Again, it's uh, a true boundary condition on the conormal derivative. Uh, okay, uh, please uh, uh, keep your attention of this, on, the, on this fact that will be interesting uh, uh, of importance in a, in a moment. Okay, so how do we get this, uh, this, uh, the, this result? Uh, as, as I said, we do this by scaling and we first regularize the problem by introducing uh, the parameter uh, epsilon and then we go to the, uh, uh, to the, um, uh, the, we do a blow up argument and then in the, at the end of this blow up argument, we find some entire solution to some problems that I will be uh, describing in a moment, which are um, uniformly, uh, which are entire and which uh, satisfy a global estimate in C0 alpha or C1 alpha. And, uh, the, um, uh, and then also we have to prove that all solutions uh, uh, to the singular degenerate equation is obtained by limit of solution to a sequence of regularized problems. Okay, so this uh, is, uh, was our uh, uh, first result. And then uh, we uh, try to apply this uh, to the um, to obtain the uh, higher order Harnack inequalities for ratio of LA, LA harmonic function vanishing on a common par part of the boundary. So uh, we denote LA the uh, the operator. This is not uh, the weight the the degenerate operator. is is an elliptic one. Okay, and then we assume that uh, the uh, boundary uh, gamma is a graph of uh, function phi, which is uh, will be more than local than uh, Lipschitz, uh, uh, and uh, we will be a smooth function, and uh, we denote by nu plus the outward unit normal vector. Okay, and then we consider two functions uh, uh, LA or uh, satisfying even a forced uh, uh, elliptic equation. And then this is not uh, difficult to see that the ratio V over U is an energy solution to this, uh, to this uh, uh, equation. We imagine that U is positive on our open set. So far uh, away from, the, from, from the, the, the boundary gamma. And uh, okay, now we have this, uh, uh, equation, the weight now is u square that plays the role of, of u uh, before. And on the right hand side, we have something which is uh, in our uh, imagination, u uh, times something which is smooth. Okay, so we are in the case of singular right hand side because uh, here we have uh, one. Uh, power less than uh, in, the, in, the, in the divergence, okay? And now we, uh, our uh, theorem is uh, to have a um, higher order boundary Harnack, uh, Harnack principle. So, so to derive CK alpha um, estimates uh, for the ratio uh, W of uh, V, over over you, and uh, uh, okay uh, the 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 C so uh, when uh, uh, A F G are C K and uh, the boundary is C K plus one then the ratio is C K plus one and satisfy the proper the appropriate boundary condition okay the estimate on the C K plus one alpha uh, um, um, norm of the ratio can also be uh, done in terms of uh, um, uh, the, the values, the value of, of the ratio on a single point when both V and U are positive. This is uh, just uh, for uh, those who are more acquainted with the uh, usual forms of Harnack principle, of boundary Harnack principle. 
Okay, now let's go back to the to the uh, um, case uh, when we consider gamma not to be a part of the boundary, but to be to lie inside the domain. So in this case, uh, we have uh, uh, we we have a, a function which solve the equation u and v solve the equation across the uh, common the, the the nodal set uh, common which is uh, the nodal set let's say of u okay and uh, um well in the in the in the in the paper uh, the um uh, the, the one stating analyticity of the, the rations the ratios in the case of uh, of analytic function a, uh, the Lon Gunov and Malinikov also remark the, the, the fact that the ratio solves this equation, but uh, they don't use uh, this. They use instead uh, different uh, uh, arguments, divisibility arguments by, by Murdoch uh, in, the, in the 60s. And uh, now we, want, we wish to uh, include at least uh, partially this, uh, this analysis our uh, uh, analysis in the context uh, of uh, uh, Logunova and Malinikova's theorem. Okay, now we assume to have such function u and v, and uh, because u and v are in any case c1 alpha of v1, we will consider in any case uh, matrix which are at least uh, uh, elder continuous will be even more, will be actually at least Lipschitz. Uh, so the zero set of few will be divided in a regular part and, and a singular part. And what we, we it is known is that uh, the singular part is, is small in uh, dimension, in house of dimension, and the regular part is uh, by the implicit function theorem, uh, um, um, mm -hmm. a, a smooth hypersurface. Okay, now we think of- the three minutes more. Thank you. Uh, uh, we, we think of having a, another function, another solution, and uh, we take the ratio. Okay. And uh, in fact, uh, we can uh, uh, apply our theorem to obtain CK alpha uh, in uh, when in, on, in the same as CK alpha of, of the ratio, not that. Uh, the solution of this equation need, need not to be continuous, but uh, these rations in particular are, so they are continuous and C K plus one alpha. Okay. Uh, okay, let me just uh, uh, say two words uh, about uh, the Liouville theorems uh, uh, that we are using. The first one is uh, the following. If we have a, solu uh, a solution of this equation, which grows less than linearly at infinity, then it is constant. And uh, uh, if its gradient uh, grows less than, infin that, that linear at infinity, then uh, W is, uh, is uh, a, a, um, uh, a linear function, sorry, it's a, um, a linear function plus a, a constant depending only on the variable X. And this has to be connected also with a similar um, uh, Liouville-type theorem that can be derived uh, by the division lemma by Mur Mur Murdoch in, in the 60s that say, okay, uh, the, more or less states uh, the same property, if you like, uh, that uh, the ratio of two harmonic function Satisfying uh, proper uh, uh, um, growth at estimates at, at infinity, the, the ratio is a polynomial of degree, which is, of course, at most uh, the uh, algebraic rate of, uh, of uh, growth of this. So um, uh, I think that uh, my time is over. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. And uh, okay. Are there any questions or comments, remarks? Maybe I will. Uh, 
at the beginning of the talk, there was some condition, <coughs> something like <coughs> the plane is equivariant with respect uh, to A. Could yes. you please, could you please <laughs> clarify? Okay, the, I, as I say, that, oh, okay, at the beginning, in the first paper, we uh, use the fact that uh, um, uh, the hyperplane sigma, okay, was invariant under the matrix A. That means, uh, if you like, uh, that uh, the um, uh, normal vector, its normal vector was an eigenvector of A. But later, we actually removed this, uh, uh, this compatibility condition. So in the last paper, we understood that this compatibility condition was not needed. So there is no compatibility condition between the hypersurface and the matrix A in the theorem that I, uh, in the, in the uh, uh, Schauder uh, estimates I presented, okay? Okay, thank you. And Roberto Musina has a question. Roberto, may you yeah. withdraw? Can I, can I, can you hear me? Yes, you can ask. Okay, uh, first of all, thanks to everybody. And uh, today, thanks to, uh, Susanna for this great talk. Uh, I, I guess that uh, she was originally inspired from the Caffaretti Silvestre extension technique uh, uh, to describe the fractional Laplacian. And so, what about do you think it's possible to obtain some regularity uh, for when the, the right hand side, if in some of your equation, is a measure supported by? Um, the singular set gamma or in the Caffarelli Silvestre setting. The, uh, uh, yeah. Okay. okay. For, okay. for instance, here. So yeah. take A to be the identity. So why this is mm, uh, the distance from the singular set. Okay, that was fine. <laughs> uh i am sorry i i yeah i'm lost in my own uh yes, presentation it, it, uh, i take any okay okay maybe well uh okay uh okay uh, let me say say the the the, the problem is that uh, traces uh, okay it depends on the range of the exponent a you wish to consider let, if, let's say that the exponent a is that one in Caparelli Silvestre. So it so is it's minus one and one. It's between minus, minus one, one and one. one. Okay. So you have this operator equals to a function, a measure having the support in y equals to zero. Okay. In this case, in fact, something can be done. But in this case, uh, and we, in fact, in, in the first paper, uh, in, in one first paper, we have done also this. But the, in, in fact, uh, the, what we have done was uh, somehow contained in the uh, regularity theory that uh, uh, maybe Caffarelli and Stinga probably have developed. Many, okay, there are many results for that. That would lead, lead some okay. extra regularity theory for the uh, equations for a fractional ablation. That, that are, I okay, mean. in in fact, uh, so uh, let me say that uh, in, in this case, in the uh, yes, so the answer is yes, but is uh, uh, if you like the 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 the, uh, the answer is is yes to get the C one alpha estimate. However, one have to take a larger than uh, uh, sorry a um, uh, a negative. So uh, powers of the Laplacian, which has, are larger than one half, if you like. Uh, yeah. Yes, one can apply all these also to get these uh, this, um, this estimates, but uh, actually do not give very much new. So new, it's, it's, okay. Okay, yeah. because, because you can do this in using the extension operator and you using somehow, if you like, parametric. So you, you, uh, anyway, you, you may obtain uh, in, in this case the, regular, the desired regularities also with other means. Which yeah, yeah sure. If you like, like, of course, if you were. Um, yeah, and also what about the possible uh, calderon zimut theory? for regularity, not shallow okay. regularity, a, a sort okay. of. 
Okay, of course you can try to to uh, follow uh, the uh, uh, the approach, but well, if you if you see, in fact, uh, to ob 